my wife thought we could go two weeks on a fresh tank of water while boondocking. I said, no way. Eight to ten days tops. I, I, I just did not see us doing two weeks. We're going to share the results of this challenge coming up on RV Street. So in our Orlando update video, up above, Martin and I were talking about the need to find out how long we can actually go on a fresh tank of water. We do in fact plan on boondocking at yeah. some point in time, so this was a rather important thing that we needed to know. Yeah, we didn't have any idea if you really had no hookups and you had a fresh tank of water, how long could we actually go out there? So Joni came up with a great idea. We're going to pretend boondock <laughs> while we're sitting at the campsite. Yep. So in order to make this experiment accurate and for you to have the data to actually compare what your capacities are compared to ours to see you know how you compare with us, I'm going to give you a rundown of how, where we were when we started. Our freshwater capacity tank will hold 74 gallons plus six in the hot water heater, which gives us a total of 80 gallons. In addition to that, we bought this blue seven gallon plastic jerry can from Walmart. Now, to prepare for this experiment, what we did is we first emptied completely our fresh water tank. We wanted to make sure that we were totally empty. We dumped our waste tanks and we filled our fresh water tank with 70 gallons. And the reason we know that is I used my little flow meter on my water spigot and I washed it and brought it up to just 70 gallons, mm -hmm. just shy of it being totally full. In addition to that, we filled our teapot for next morning's coffee, that was all ready to go. And we filled, we made sure, like I said, that our seven uh, gallon jerry can was full outside on the picnic table. So in conclusion, we started with 76 gallons of water, including the hot water heater, and seven gallon jerry can. So we'll see how this all turns out <laughs> and how long we can go. So the first thing we did is we placed our wash basins into the sink. We carried two plastic wash basins under the sink. We nest them together and we have them there so when we are going to go boondocking we can just pull those out and put them into the sink. We have a single basin sink that Martin installed for me because I really detested the sink that came in the motorhome. Yeah when we bought the motorhome it came with your typical plastic sink had a like a semi-large basin on one side and a little dinky thing off to the other side. It was worthless. It was worthless. And uh, Joni said, Martin, is there anything we can do about this? And I said, yeah, I can yank this thing out and give you a nice, big, deep, wider stainless steel sink with a new pull-out uh, faucet and all that. She said, oh, please. Please. I think he was tired of hearing me whine <laughs> about it. So I went ahead and changed that out. Well, as it turned out, that sink also accommodates these two plastic wash tubs perfectly. So what we do with those wash tubs is we'll take and fill them each with about three quarters of a gallon of water. Yep. Soap in one, water and bleach in the other. We take about a, a cap, cap, of, full. Yeah, cap full of bleach and put it in there for sanitation purposes. And that way we're able to wash our dishes yeah. without constantly running water and you know. And and we changed out that water every day. Oh yeah. Okay, so it, each day, three quarters of a gallon in, wa in the wash, three quarters of a gallon in the rinse, one cap of bleach and some soap. Use that all day. Don't. Next morning, start all over again. Now we used paper plates a lot, but sometimes we would use our regular plates, yeah. and we just made sure that we wiped them off with paper towels really well before putting them into the wash water, just to keep the wash water cleaner. Right, and this is a practice that we've always done anyway. You know, we're not living in a house where you can just hose off and wash off all your food down in the, the, the uh, 
disposal. Yeah, the garbage yeah. disposal. You don't do that in an RV. You wipe them out. You don't want all that stuff going into the gray tank. So that's the practice that we've always done. Um, we, during this experiment, we made our coffee like we normally do. We use a drip coffee maker. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was not only delivered great uh, coffee. Uh, we've used this for years. But with boondocking, we don't need to have any electricity to make. Yeah, it eliminates the need to plug something yeah. in to make coffee. You and just heat up great coffee. Yeah, heat up water on our uh, stove propane, pour it and let it drip through. And each morning that took five cups, five cups mm -hmm. of water each morning for coffee. Mm -hmm. We also, Martin and I um, kept, each of us kept a bottle of water in our bathrooms yeah. for brushing our teeth and, you know, rinsing off our uh, toothbrush and maybe splashing some water on your face. And we, we uh, found these bottles, uh, you know, they got all these different kinds of bottles with little caps and uh, you know, you buy a big case and the caps never fit right. Well, we find we we reuse these bottles mm -hmm. uh, And we wanted to find a bottle that easily stored in the refrigerator. Yeah, has square a, is good. Yeah, has a really good thick tight fitting cap and We have on board. I guess probably about eight of these or so yeah. about that. and so we kept eat one of these in each of our bathrooms to brush our teeth, rinse out our brush. I'd even take a little bit of water and wash my face in the morning. But we also, this is for our drinking water. We do not buy cases of water and no. carry them with it. It's no. extra money, more weight, more storage. We refill our water bottles straight from the motorhome. Mm -hmm. And we have pure, safe, clean water in our throughout our motorhome. And uh, you can watch that video, by the way, right up there. We did a video on how we set up our wet bay. So be sure to see how we do that. But uh, we did keep one of these each in the bathroom. And we have two bathrooms, so she can do her thing and I can do mine. We have our own separate little space. And speaking of the bathroom. Yeah, we kind of adopted the, uh, if it's yellow, let it mellow. And if it's brown, it goes down, theory. So as we weren't constantly flushing, using up a lot of water doing that. Yeah. Um, we both took Navy showers yeah. every other day. Uh, it worked, you know, it worked great. Uh, and when we decided to do this uh, experiment, we were planning on using these Epic wipes. Yeah. Um, we bought these long time ago, and we've used them before, and they're awesome. Yeah, uh, they are. Joni's going to uh, demonstrate how these uh, work and how they, you know, how big they are and all that in a minute. I'm not going to get naked. <laughs> Rat. <laughs> so I have opened up one of these extra large Epic wipes. They are really quite large. They are two and a half feet by one and a half feet. Um, basically, you would just basically start with your hair, work on down, do your arms. These were created by an army surgeon. They have eucalyptus oils in them. They actually feel really wonderful on your skin. Uh, and I have used these, and when I'm done using it, I feel really fresh and clean. So work as you're working your way down to your body, just use your special areas last we're all good so that's it but we were planning on using these in this experiment to supplement our showers every third day and save water but as it turned out yeah we really didn't even need them we didn't um, now during those three days uh, if we uh, needed to we would use a little smaller uh, personal wipe smaller. for those special areas but other than that, um, the showers that we were doing every three days was fine. In the mornings, uh, we had the jerry can sitting outside on the picnic table, and you know, the water always stayed nice and warm. I yeah. mean, it's Florida. Um, but in the mornings, we would sometimes go out and use that water to... I did especially. Yeah, to brush his teeth, wash his face. I felt a little odd about that all out in public. But, um, yeah, that jerry can was was amazing it was uh, the, now this jerry can uh just to give you a little background a couple of months ago we went to walmart and they have a clear plastic 
collapsible five gallon jerry cans. Yeah, we thought they were going to be great. Yeah, we're like, man, these are awesome, man. You collapse them, they're easy to store, and then when mm -hmm. we need them, you just kind of pop them open and fill them with five gallons of water. Yeah, not so much. Well, they ended up leaking on the scene. Mm -hmm. And then you have, because they weren't hard shell, it was just a big bladder of water that would just sit there and kind of roll and rock, and it would never sit flat on the... It was kind of like trying to balance a balloon. Yeah. You know? It was... It was crazy. Yeah, it was uh, horrible. And plus, it was clear which meant the sun was beating on it all day long, which could also, I happen to think about this, it would have a possible problem of, pre, of growing algae in there. Ah. As it turned out, these things were not worth yeah, it. Yeah, we tossed them in the trash. So we ended up going with this hard shell, seven gallon jerry can. Mm -hmm. Now it weighs a little bit. Uh, I, I, I mean, seven gallons times, what it, what it, weigh, what it weighs uh, per gallon? I think it's like 8.2 pounds per gallon so this thing weighs you know about 50 pounds or yeah, so. yeah i did not even try to move it but all you do is fill it and then you you know we're going to carry it in our toad when we're boondocking and then we'll just fill it and just set it on the table and that you don't that's all you have to move it is from there to the table but without this seven gallon jerry can i kept telling Joni throughout this whole experiment how valuable uh that can was and I even filled up the uh, coffee when we we're doing coffee mm -hmm. I'd even bring the teapot out with my measuring cup and I would pour my water for the coffee out of that jerry yeah, can. Yeah we wash our hands with it brush our teeth I mean yeah it was definitely something that we need to get another one really. Yeah we're going to end up actually with two when we really get ready since this is a proven vehicle for water uh, we're going to get another one so we'll actually have our full tank, our hot water heater, and 14 gallons in jerry cans. How long did our water supply last? We did, in fact, go 14 days. Yeah, we did. We, uh, much to Martin's amazement, uh, we could have gone longer. Yeah, we actually had water left. Yeah, we had to break down and move, so we decided that's the end of the experiment. But we actually had water left in the tank. Yeah. Um, our sensors are like most RVs, they're not really accurate. Um, we just, we don't really worry about that, but we did show water in the tank. We mm -hmm. did have water in the faucets. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I estimate we may have had two, three more days left over. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was really quite incredible. And we didn't use our Epic wipes. Oh no, we did not. If we would have used these yeah. in lieu of a couple of those showers, we would have even had more water left over. Uh, I, I was just amazed. Uh, now our jerry can was empty on day 12. 12. Yeah. Day 12, yeah. uh, the jerry can was gone. So now we're full on the uh, fresh water tank. And I think, you know, when we actually do go boondocking, we'll get another one of those and we don't have to watch the water quite as close. Right. Still be careful, but yeah. not as close. I... And, and our plans of boondocking is, anyway, is that we're going to be going on BLM land. you got to mm -hmm. move every two weeks there anyway. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we were after here. Can we go on BLM mm -hmm. land in two week sessions and have enough water? Comfortably. Yeah, comfortably, yeah. Uh, without really being picked. And the answer to that is yes. Absolutely. And water to spare. And it's good knowledge to have. You know, we know we can do this. Yeah. So when we do do it, we're going to have no issues. Now, after we did this experiment and we had moved to our new campground and everything, I got to thinking about this. We used 83 gallons, remember? Full tank, our full freshwater tank, seven in the jerry can. Six in the hot water heater, 83 or so total. Still had some left over. That is a 55 gallon barrel and then a half of one. Yeah. One and a half 55 gallon barrels for two people for two weeks <laughs> and still had some left over. And I was thinking about, wow, when we had the house. Oh my God, yeah. We would use thousands of gallons yeah, a month every month 
And on he, what at this point? I have no idea, but yeah, crazy. So, so with this experiment, if we were to go a month, you know, hypothetically, if we were to just do back to back, two week thing, mm -hmm. we could do it for what three fifty five gallon barrels <laughs> yeah. for in a month. In a month. And that Pretty doesn't incredible. even count if we were to park by a lake or a river where we could do some bathing or, ah. or water or do, you know, you get yeah. out there and do one of your little dolphin uh, oh, mermaid. Yeah. Oh, a little swan. Yeah, 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 get out there and bathe like they do in the movies with the yeah. soap and you see yeah. your, yeah. I, I so see me doing that. <laughs> so there you have it. Joni was right. Yay. We can go two weeks and more on a fresh full tank of water absolutely if you guys uh, are interested uh, we're gonna have links below on all the different things that we uh, talked about in this video if you use those links to purchase any of these products man that's great it doesn't cost you anything more but it does help support our channel and oh if you haven't hit the like button or subscribed yet please do that oh please do uh, it, it'll help uh, promote our channel on YouTube so there you have it the two week can we get by on a fresh water tank fake boondocking experiment <laughs> on rv street stick around did we get it all this time i think so oh lordy third time to charm Indeed. first time we didn't turn on the camera Second time we left half the crap out. Yeah, that, and then the third time, I'm looking at all of our notes. I think we've got it. I think highlighting is good. <laughs> I'm going to go do an epic wipe. <laughs>